Hey, everybody. You hey. are here at the November 1st weekly community call for chaos. I'm Elizabeth. Nice to see everybody here. Um, as always, just a reminder, <coughs> meeting is under our code of conduct for chaos. So everybody be kind to each other, which we always are anyway, but just a reminder. And of course, you don't have to have your camera on. You can keep it off the whole time. Totally fine. You can chat in the, the chat thing on the side or wherever it is on your screen. We'll incorporate that into the meeting as well. So good to see everybody. I hope you're all good doing good. You. Let me... Where did I lose that? I do this every single time, and I don't know why. You'd think I'd be more prepared, but every, is that right? That's not right, hold on. Wait a minute, I think I have the wrong window. Hang on a second. I lost the minutes. I don't know why. Sorry, one sec. There they are, okay, now we're good. Um, I'll just drop them here too in the chat just for folks who need that. And now I'll share my screen. All right, if you can add your name and tell us your answer to who was most influential in your life as a kid, um, that'd be great. That's our icebreaker question for today. If you don't want to answer that, you absolutely do not have to, but that'd be interesting if you do. We have a pretty short agenda. So if there's other things that we need to talk about, by all means, drop them on here. And we just have a few points to, to talk about, to share. So um, yeah. Oh, I should also add something on here too while I'm thinking about it, which is this, um, where is it? New bad, nope, that's not it. Oh, it's not here. Okay, we haven't. Okay, I'll just add it on here. Okay, so let's go on to the first item on the agenda, which is um, the way that we present our metrics on the website. So in the web content group last week, we were talking about um, the way things are linked to the URLs. And right now they're based on the metric name. But what happens is sometimes we change the name of our metrics after, you know, further thought and review, we decide that that's not appropriate name. So we'll change it, which also changes the URL, which also breaks everything. Or sometimes we change a name of a focus area. Like we, we do change things sometimes and it, it tends to break stuff, especially if you're um, auger and you're kind of relying on those metrics to be stable. Yeah. So um, in the metric, or sorry, in the web content group, we were talking about um, you, ident uh, giving numerical IDs for all of the metrics, and then that's how the URL um, would go. So that way that we can name it whatever we want, we can move it around, you know, because we may, who knows what the future of our metrics look like, it might be very different. So giving them a numerical, numerical ID just gives us a little bit more flexibility with regard to naming and structure and all of that stuff. So we just wanted to bring it to the um, the group here to see if there were any any thoughts or comments or um, concerns about doing that. If um, you know what what everybody thinks about that. So I'll just open that up now. And Sean, if you have any other context to add, I think you were in that meeting. I don't think Kevin's on. Yeah, the, I mean the context is is exactly what you just said. It's. Um... It's just Augur in the past has tried to link the metrics definitions to our API um, descriptions as well as to our pages. And because they've been when like when the name changes, it changes. It's uh, it's quite an effort to figure out, first of all, what's changed. So we have to literally click through every everything um, <clears throat> to try to figure out what's changed. And so we gave up. Um, and so this proposal would allow any, you know, Grimoire Lab and Augur to directly link to the chaos definition from the tools, which, which I think creates a helpful sort of clear, helpful and clear relationship between the tooling and the metrics. That's it. <laughs> Does anybody have any any concerns about this or anything that maybe we're missing by doing this and we would redirect everything at least for, you know for a period of time redirect everything to the new system when it's all said and done so it wouldn't be like you know we just change everything and not do that 
Um, so if there are concerns about that, we are gonna redirect. But is there anything else that we might be missing? Okay, I'm going to take it from the silence that we're good. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess it's good. Um, yeah, no concerns. All right. Rock on. <laughs> I'm going to put that in the minutes. It's official. <laughs> At least for the people who are here, there's no concerns. And as far as implementation goes, I'm not sure how that will roll out. I'm going to kind of guess that Kevin will be the one to drive that change um, between, you know, Kevin and Sean and, and whoever else um, from the website side of things. But yeah, so that'll happen. I don't know timelines. I don't know implementation plans or anything like that. Maybe we should put that in here. Timeline and, and oops, implementation TBD. All right, so let's move on to our next one, which is the common working group has come up with some time-based guidelines for uh, metrics that have uh, time-based uh, environment. They live in that kind of an environment that are time-based. So um, we did add this to the metric template. Here it is. Um, basically, this is how we're defining things now. So if you're in a working group and you're working on a metric that does uh, revolve around time, then um, it'd be great if you could help us and follow these naming conventions just for consistency sake across the working groups. Who has questions about that? Nobody has questions, awesome. <laughs> we are rolling through this agenda like a steam engine, I don't know. Maybe something even faster than that. Uh, a sh <laughs> uh, Chevrolet Impala with a jet engine attached to the top of it. Yes, souped <clears throat> up. Yes, a souped up Chevy Impala. Chevy Impala. That's how we're yeah. going through our agenda today. I love that. Uh, fantastic. Okay. Um, yeah. Should we go on? I guess let's do it. So Matt G is under the weather a little bit. So he asked me to pass this along. Um, we are. Uh, so the OSPO working group was hoping that we could, um, that this, this topic came up in the OSPO working group, this um, idea that our metric quality checklist is extremely thorough, <laughs> which is good, but also very lengthy. And so we're hoping to kind of streamline everything and make it a little bit easier to, to release these metrics, because um, the, the, we kept just adding things to the checklist, which were needed, but also like maybe we could streamline some of this. So this is the new, I'll drop it in the chat too. This is um, what they're proposing for a new quality checklist here. Um, we would love the community to just give some feedback on this, if it makes sense, if it seems like it's doable. It's definitely easier than the old one, which I'm not sure if we have that somewhere, probably we could, could do that to compare. Um, I wonder if he made the changes in here, actually, or if this was a new doc. I think it's maybe a new doc. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Sorry. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, we would love your, your feedback on this. We can do that here. We can do that async. Does anybody have any comments on it? Can, can you click to it? Yeah. I, I think it's helpful. I think, I, I think um, and does it, does this have a link to the template for, um, oh, for um, a, a new metric? That's the only thing I would, that would be helpful to add is a, uh, just a direct link to the template. That's that's honestly where I have the most trouble is I'm never quite, I, I, whenever I look for it, for some reason, I have a, a hard time finding the template. 
I think you're not alone in that. I think I, I also kind of stumble. I'm getting a little better at it, but yeah, I kind of have to consciously remember where it is. Yeah. Um, so maybe, oops. Can we include a link to the current metrics template? Okay, that's a great suggestion, Sean. I love that. I agree. That would be really helpful. Uh, any other comments on this? So the process is way easier, just two, two steps really, um, and then tightened up the, qu the content quality a lot. And then the technical requirements. So how is this used? So when we have a new metric that's brand new, um, we have a series of, of steps to make sure that it everything happens that's supposed to happen with it. So for, for in order for it to show up on the website, in order for it to get into the repo and go through translations and all of the steps required, um, we had we started this checklist. So if you open a new issue, let me just go and show you what the old one looked like, if I think that would be helpful. So you can get a little bit more context around it. Um, it's probably still in the uh, any other working group really probably, huh? Let's go to DEI. Or, or common, I think it's still in common. So if you go to open a new issue, um, you'll get a choice here. So mm -hmm. metrics release candidate. So this would be if we were had a new metric and we want to issue it. So here's what the old one looks like. So here's this process and all these things to check for content quality and all these things to check for technical requirements. So much so longer, oh, it's a much yeah. longer, it's, it's a much longer that. checklist. So what Matt did was just hmm. kind of consolidate it and make it a little bit smoother and simpler. So his um, idea was to use this across all the working groups. So obviously we wanted some feedback and yeah, I so think now it's just a couple of things. This is much easier. I mean, much more like uh, easier to process. <laughs> yeah, a much little less checklist items. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, because if you're like, oh, I, I have a new metric, and then you open it up, and you're like, oh, maybe I don't. Like, it's going to take me a week to go through all of these things. So, um, so yeah, and I think also the translations piece of things. I think we're hoping with the way our website will be working in the future that we can do a lot of that automatically. I think it, it needs tweaked, obviously, but um, I think that's the hope is to let the website do the work and not have to rely on human, um, you know, human intervention. Although our Chinese team has absolutely done an amazing, amazing job keeping those translated and keeping those things in sync. Um, but it's, it's a lot, it's a lot of work. So um, if we can rely on the website to do most of the heavy lifting, that would be fantastic. So I think that was a piece that he took out of the process, which also helped things just help, you know, based on that new website. Um, any, any other qu questions, comments, feedback? And if you want to think about this a little, that's also completely valid. I'll put, I'll put a link I, to the old one too, just so people could see it. Uh, yeah, I think it's, I think it's unquestionably an improvement. So yeah agreed actually i'm not sure if this is the right link but um this probably might take take y'all to yeah that's that's the wrong link but i'll, I'll find a new link or i'll find a good link okay so um yeah so i guess we're cool to move along Mm -hmm. If that's all right with everybody. Awesome. Um, and I just want to remind everyone there is an onboarding meeting tomorrow. I believe it's at, someone correct me if I'm wrong. Ruth, I think you're on here, right? She was. Okay. Um, there's an onboarding meeting tomorrow for newcomers to chaos. We're going to go over everything about chaos, all of the things, where what everything means, where everything is, how you can get started, how you can 
figure out where to go and find what you find the answers that you need. So highly recommend it's on our calendar. If you're not um, familiar with this page, which will also change with the new website. <laughs> so <laughs> that's also going to be a thing, but um, there's a calendar of all the meetings and tomorrow it's at 11 a.m. U.S. Central. So it's just at this Zoom link. There's no um, like formal agenda um, or no like formal. You don't have to register for it or anything like that. You can just show up if it works with your schedule. We'd love to see you and you can ask any questions then as well if you're a newcomer to chaos. And I will be hosting it at, along with Ruth, who is the t uh, community lead for chaos Africa. She'll be there as well. So hopefully we will see you if you are new to chaos. Um, any any questions about that or comments? Anything? Y'all are so quiet today. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. So chill. It, I think the, yeah, I think it. Uh, you know, these are these are like some items of business that yeah. you know we're like, yeah, good. Yeah. Right. Rock on. <laughs> <laughs> this is our our meditative hour. So thank you for yeah. being here. Namaste. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Anybody like we, I think we do have things. Do we have things to go over for chaos con? I think we, it feels like we would, um, but I don't know if like the key members of the like gateway's not here, mass not here. So, uh, I, I don't, Don's not here. Is Sophia sure. here? Sophia is not here. Yeah. Um, I think, I think it's uh CubeCon this week. So, oh, uh, is it? Yeah, so I think that's right. Oh, all things open too. Yeah. No, all things is all things open this week. I think maybe KubeCon was last week, but it's exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot of people who are at these events. Yeah, I know Donna's at ATO. Yeah. Only because I, because Guy is at ATO. So <laughs> I, I, yeah, and you're not. They left you home. I know. Man. I know. And now I'm thinking, oh, gee, maybe I should have gone. Yeah. <laughs> there's only so many trips you can take. Right, yeah. I know. I'm like, oh gosh, I can't be on the road all the time. Well, yes, I am in North Carolina, so I'm kind of there. I'm there in the, I'm there in spirit, you know. But <laughs> yeah, Raleigh's a little far from where I am, I think. But yeah. Um, all right. Well, I guess we're done. Are we done? I'm super excited yeah. about the next thing you've got on that list because I think I'm actually maybe going to be there. So. In Boston. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That would be so great, Nicole. I mean, I won't, I won't be there, but I'll be there in spirit as I always am. So, um, I'll send you hugs, virtual hugs. Yay. Yeah, so I think, um, I guess I can update everybody that it is going to happen on uh, the third. Chaos Con is going to happen on the third. I'm pretty sure uh, all the paperwork is in. So I can put this in here happening on February 3rd and um, Sean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that the first part of the day, the morning session is going to be just like kind of our normal chaos con, maybe with mm -hmm. a little bit of a twist because we've been talking about yeah. that, the, uh, the agenda, the format a little bit, we might switch it up a little, mm -hmm. um, but in the afternoon, they're going to do some more intensive, not intensive, but like some more software focused things like workshop yeah. things is that right sean yeah 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 and um i'm hoping to see some talks on uh implementations of technology in the main program as well because i i think people really are that's it, the first thing they ask is you know how can i see these metrics um anymore so and i think don had it from what i heard don did a really great job and there were a few others of, of something like that at the last chaos con which was in September at uh, OSS EU. Um, we're just we're going back. We've all we had always been at Fosdem before the pandemic, and I, I think this is just our way of trying to restore order. <laughs> <laughs> order in the chaos, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, is it, Sean? Do you know if the afternoon format, if you're you all are envisioning a presentation based format um, and, or more interactive or workshop or how? What I, are you, I, you I think. I think um, I think it's been framed primarily as a workshop, though that will include presentations. Um, okay. You know, I can like I think for for um, Augur, for example, I'd, I'd probably provide an overview of all the available interfaces and capabilities, and then uh, have people work through 
an auger instance um, that's set up and the ins and outs of collecting data with it. Um, and I'll have a video on install. I'll have the, our installation documentation seems pretty good right now. People are able to get it up and running. So um, I will uh, mention that. Or I, I will, I will, I guess I will uh, facilitate anybody who's having trouble, probably, you know. Troubleshooting, yeah. Yeah. And I'll, I, I've got to check my budget, but I'll probably bring a few students too. To help with that. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. That'd be good. Yeah. Okay, well, do we, um, that's really, I think, all we have on this. Um, I can also say that registration, we, oh, we are opening a CFP soon, but I don't think we've landed on what kind of format we're actually going to have. So, I think, uh, I think Matt and maybe, maybe Kevin, I, don't, yeah. I think Matt, I'm sorry, I think Sophia and Kevin were working out that, which is basically going to be a copy of our, our old CFP, and for all I know, it might be up, but they're not here, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it is. Um, I think so. Last planning meeting, we were actually talking about maybe <coughs> up the format to make it way more interactive and like less presentation-y. So yeah. I, that, that might change how what the CFP looks like. It could uh, too. So I'm not actually sure. Um, and then I think the only other thing is that like Chaos is doing our own registration, so. Um, yeah, if you had questions about that or like, because, you know, usually we have to, if we're doing it with the uh, uh, Open Source Summit, we go through the LF, they do their mm -hmm. registrations for us. So this is a case where we're just doing our own. So more details on that to be found or to be determined, I should say. Awesome. Okay, so as we decide things, um, we will release that out into the community. If you are interested in helping plan that, plan ChaosCon, um, by all means, you're welcome to do that. We have a Slack channel. And then we usually take kind of the second half of this meeting to talk about ChaosCon planning. So there's no extra meetings involved. You just stick around and then yep. everybody has stuff to do and then we do it. <laughs> That's how it goes. Exactly. So we're always looking for more helping hands to, to make that event possible. So yeah, just let us know if you're interested and we'll add you to the Slack. And does anybody have questions or comments, anything in general they want to talk about? I do not. Yeah, but I, I don't know whether it's um, the right um, platform to, but, but I think Matt previously in some meetings was talking about the Chaos Africa Open Collective, um, which I think might be we could give updates about because yesterday I think um, I saw it approved. Yes, yes that's that excellent. is true. Thank that you. is an excellent that point. Is true. Yeah. So Chaos yeah. Africa will now have, we've been approved to have our own uh, open, uh, open collective just for that group specifically. So if we have sponsors or someone that comes in and wants to just sponsor um, Chaos Africa in particular, we have a sponsorship prospectus we can send, we have a way to receive funds. So if you're at a, co a company or if you know someone who might be interested in donating, um, and that money would be used to help support that community. So things like meetups or, um, you know, whatever that community really could use, swag, you know, whatever they need, um, that's where that money would go. So we we have it all set up, we're all ready now. <laughs> so. And it does go through, uh, it, it, the Open Collective is a U.S.-based um, initiative, so it, it would still stay in the U.S. if your company has, um, if that's a requirement, some companies have that as a requirement. So if it is, it is a 501c3, it is a nonprofit, and they are a fiscal sponsor, so it will go to them and then they send the funds to, to Chaos Africa. That's how that works. So, yeah, that, thank you for bringing that up, Enoch. That was a great a great addition to the agenda because that's really great news. It just makes things a lot easier for for us to have some kind of operating budget and some funds to do some some cool things there. So great, great addition. Anybody else have anything? I have nothing more to add.
if anybody has the link to that open source collective for chaos africa um feel free to drop it here in the minutes too just for the sake of doing that It'd be great i think it's opencollective.com slash chaos africa should we try that oh and we got chaoses here let's see if we just add africa here chaos by chaos um, hyphen africa yeah we got it mm, yeah. so i will drop that in the minutes there we go perfect excellent all right anything else in this general meeting here Um, chaos complaining folks, are, are there enough of us to meet? Do we want to meet or not? I, to you well, I, I, I feel like we're missing the people who might have answers to questions, um, but particularly the registration is probably the most urgent matter and yeah. the, the room is taken care of and the schedule is taken care of. Um, the structure is handled. I'm just trying to think of what else we could possibly uh deliberate on yeah i don't i, mean, I don't actually I, know i don't i don't think there's anything that's an open question until we get that registration out yeah and we can do that we can all connect async and stuff yeah. for that yeah so. absolutely all right you all did great look, look at us look at us we're superheroes past the hour you get some time back in your day aren't you glad now you can go take a nap or i don't know go outside and do whatever you want yeah. Um, yeah. So have a great day, everybody. Thanks for coming. Great to see you. Great to see you too, Nicole. Missed you. We love yeah. having you around. So we will see you all very soon and have a great day. See you, see you later. All right. Good to see you.